What's up everyone, welcome back to another 7 days to die episode and today after my last terrible POI which you can watch if you go back a video absolutely horrendous by me um, but today we're going to be setting up a new base in the snow area and the reason for this is I want to be closer to the trader and the town so that I can get through all the tier missions and get up to the high tiers um, and I've already kind of at tier 4 in the forest so I thought I'd try the snow area so first things first uh, stone and clay gonna make some cobblestone blocks to complement my concrete blocks so I can get a structure up fast so I've already got a forge here and I can take a workstation from here so first things first go over to the workbench recipes cobblestone rocks 6000 there we go then I'll go to this one recipes concrete blocks because you can change what you make I'll do a hundred on this bench Ah, the hundred on this bench. Um, what are we looking at for time? Fifteen in-game minutes. So while this is all doing, thirty-five minutes on all that cobble. But wow. Okay. <clears throat> Righto. Get the fuel out of here turn this off because it's not actually making anything anymore and it'll just attract zombies. Uh, I've planted an absolute load of potatoes and super corn because I've realised that super corn vendors for a lot of coins and I want to get a solar cell so that I can recharge batteries because sometimes you find a battery and it's like this, like half health and it's only worth 131 dukes and this one 312 but if I can charge it with a super cell this one will be worth about 6 or 700 and, and same with this one like double almost triple so for the amount of batteries I get it's worth doing so I'm going to take an engine and I'll take this fuel 8000 fuel um, what else do we need? We need some electrical gear. Take eight of these. Some dart traps, because they're quite useful. Switches. Three should be enough. Um, we need a couple of pressure plates. For the dart traps, let's take a battery bank because I can use run it off the batteries until I craft something for an engine. I need the electrical tool to wire everything up. I we'll use this SMG turret because I've got so much rounds uh, of ammo for that. I've, I've never actually used one. But I've seen someone else using one and they look pretty decent, so we'll give that a go. Take the nail gun for fast crafting. Take these 28 spikes. Um, and since we're going to be there a while, take a load of food. I'll take these as well, pumpkin cheesecake, that there gets me a discount at the trader. Um, we'll take these drinks because they're actually for the ice area. Cold resist plus 30, stamina regen, great stuff. And um, we'll take some coffee because I'm bound to do some mining. Uh, what else do we need? Ammo, I guess. 
We'll take some ammo. And then I need to go down to the other box really because I don't I wanna keep that here. So we'll pop down to the other box. Ah, get my drone as well, he can carry most of this. Can take the ammo. The batteries. The engine. He's quite a strong little guy. He can carry all this. Uh, we'll keep that fuel out. Carry this food. If you want to put, let's say, all these yucca juices inside here and do it quick, you just you can just drag one and then click this twice, and it'll take all the yuccas and put them in there. And all the ammo apparently, because I had ammo in there, so be careful with that. Right. We'll take a forge, take a land claim block, and we'll take some raw cement because always going to need to do repairs. Some raw cobblestone. Right, how are we getting on here? So if I take this cobblestone a minute, that should just be plenty. Cobblestone blocks, 120, perfect. Oh, actually I can craft that on my person, because it'll be quicker. I'm going to pop that in there. There we go. Right, I'll just leave them building because I've got 250 and it should be enough. By the time I get there I should have enough cobblestone blocks to get me started as well. So Now we've got the gear we need. What stuff do we want to take? Do I want to be making glue there? Nope. Do I want to be maybe some repair kits? If I'll take half. Ah! That we do want. Cooking pot, grill, beaker for a campfire. So if I'll just make a campfire. Such an essential thing. And I suppose if you take a roll of bandages, first aid kits, and a couple of antibiotics, because you're bound to use them. Maybe even a couple of vitamins. Yeah, and I suppose if I take this, I can make my own bandages. Yeah, there we go. Do I need any mods? The auger. Now that's tempting because I could get a lot of resources fast, and I am going to be doing a bit of digging, so we'll take that. I've got a spare sledge. I'm taking that as well. That comes in very useful. I can actually... Have I got any fire mods? That's what we need. Maybe I'll put it in the vending machine. Here we go. Let's have a look. No. Right, I can't remember how we make that. Mod. Burning shaft mod. Wood, steel, five, glue, oil, gas can. Very easy to make, so we'll make one of those as well. So we need oil a minute, glue. Oh! Trust me to use up all the glue. dropped items because of uh, my bags are full. This is typically how I operate with absolutely no <laughs> thoughtful process going on. 
get that in there. Right, maybe I can there. Uh, How may I assist you? Well, carrying on my stuff, please. Put the sledge in there, the forge. If someone knocked this out of the sky, they'd have an absolute day of loot. I don't even know if you can loot someone's drone or not, I've no idea, but that sounds like an interesting uh, idea. Nail gun, electric tool, pressure pad, spinning blade, that'll do, that gives me enough room to work a minute. Oh, more stuff I've left on the floor, corn. They can go. Take that glue a minute. Yeah, talk about organised. I'll just set this to uh, follow. As you wish. Now he's angry. Not today. Little army guy wandering around. You can tell he's got armor on because he's just took three hits over two, so. Blocks in. Oh, I might as well keep them because I'm going to be using them pretty soon. So, so much stuff to sort out all the time, but I do actually love this game. I've seen another game, I think it's called The Forest, I've never actually played it yet, I'm going to, it's a survival horror, but um, I think if you build something, you can like, keep a blueprint of it and then just get all the materials and build another one, which sounds brilliant for ease, but you're kind of taking away all the gameplay because it's done for you and you don't change things because you just stick to what you've done so I don't know I'll, I'll have to try it out to see if it's really any good but basically I'm going to build the same thing but I want to build this tower a little bit higher and I want to build this base a little bit wider because if it's wider I can put all my workstation on that I've got a bad feeling about this inside it. See my drone pathing up here to get to me the same way zombies try. Um, yeah so I want to make this base so that when I go down into this section I've got all my tools and stuff. So that's the plan and I'll leave this one just how it is. Um, it's not hurting anything couple more spikes. Oh, I'll leave those spikes here for when I do ordnance here. Um, I suppose I can take some more ammo and I'll need this for the SMG turrets. So yeah, this base will always be here. I can always fall back to it if the other one doesn't work. And I'll take some darts for the dart traps that I've got. And I'd have to say that that seems like everything. And we've got an hour until daylight. Uh, so 4 a.m. that's when it's classed as day. Let's get the rest of these blocks quickly. Need the others building. This cobblestone. 
don't actually need all that, it's way too much, so we'll put that away for a rainy day. Half that stone can go away, and I'll leave that cobble there. So we got 125 cobblestone, uh, 350 concrete, which should be plenty, cobblestone rocks. Um, the only thing I haven't got actually need some forged iron which I haven't made any of lately damn and here we go back at it I thought I'd save you some of the travel and uh, cut, cut it out because last time I traveled 1.4 kilometers, I think it was, and it was a, uh, it was a bit boring. Let's just say that. <laughs> right, that was an excellent little box. Oh, there, brilliant. One of the things I like about the snow area, you get a, a lot more dangerous animals. There's always more bears, more mountain lions. Let's see if there's anything in this box, shall we? Dye, green dye. That's unusual. Let's put it on my axe, shall we? There, green axe. That's the first time I've found a dye just like that, a random dye on its own. Um Right, I think Trader Hughes near here. Ah, there he is. I want to go. Do I want to go further north than Trader Hughes? Or... I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, me drone's got a bad feeling. Robots with feelings. I think I've gone off the beaten path, yeah. I always check mailboxes that I know I haven't because it could be the book in there like then easy skill points I'm going so far north I don't really want to go that far north because I know most of my missions here we go like mountain lion I mean you see them all the time uh, it's not like when you're in the forest zone, you, you see like one or two deers, may, mostly at night and whatnot, but they're not just walking around all the time like they are here. A bit more difficult to deal with, but rewarding when you get all the meat. Trader Hughes. Boy, oh, that one's Joel in it, I think. I don't know. But we can just go up here a bit, I think. Shall I do it opposite the Shotgun Messiah? What else is here? Or do I want to go closer to town? Let's go a little bit closer, eh? And also it's a little bit further away from my base, so it's actually more worth doing. Seems like a good spot. Crossroads. We've got any water near boy? Ah, I can see it there, but I'm there. Righto, so. Let's take the concrete blocks to start with, because I want the base of this structure to be quite strong. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Go two eye like this. Oh, that was brilliant. I hate misplacing a block because now I've got to break that out. Um, annoying. I suppose it'd be quite easy with, with my minor 69er. Nope, it's still 5,000. Wow. Okay, so 
Where's the word? Recipes. I want to go six blocks away, so the best way to make sure I'm dead accurate is with some wooden blocks. Six actually feels too many. Let's go five. Awesome, done it again. It's like a little bit of lag and then it skips forward. Get rid of that, get rid of him. Oh wow, it's killed a mountain lion and won it. And we got a bear up here going crazy, so we can have some. Never hit a zombie with a machete before. Just trying some hip fire. That gun's so strong. Right, where's my drone gone? Because just when I need him, he's buggered off and being useless. All systems go. How may I help? I just need. Oh, no. I need to get a box down. And I can't even make a box, can I? Scrap that so the box goes in place. I'll just put it there for a minute. Get rid of some of this stuff. Put that in. Put that in. There we go. Don't want to waste all this meat. Especially see we're in the cold area where it would uh, be way more useful. So. so I wanted to go a tiny bit bigger this time so I think longer will be fine. I can go one extra block. No I want to put a dart trap here so Sorry if I seem a little bit cack handed, but this is how I do things. And look at the heat we're generating just by uh, building here. No noise, no mining. And we've got a whole pack of zombies showed up. Let's check that bag out. Curiosity killed the cat. left in to be fair he's far enough away but ah look at sneaky sneaky mug sneaker son ah now the noise kicks in that tells me it was a wandering horde I've got the sound down a little bit so I can hear um so sorry so you can hear what I'm saying over the top 
otherwise it's a mess like my very first video and I think four eye is plenty because also I don't want to feel claustrophobic when I'm inside it and when you do two blocks eye it always does so now I can use cob because none of this should take any damage right have I got enough to make a door so I want an iron door. Yes, we can make a door. We need a ladder as well. And because I'm a bit silly, I've put a block there. So, oh, let's dig it out. And move it to there because that way, I can put the ladder pieces down the wall. Right, let's cancel the door and make the ladders first. This is how bad my organisation is, so how I've managed to get this far, I don't know. I'm actually going to need about 30 ladders. Where the hell's that ladder gone? Well, that was weird, wasn't it? Never seen that before. Which is not ideal because if they break through, they'd be able to climb up to me, but. Usually only want two pieces. Maybe if I take it away now, the other one's still there. Yeah, perfect. Right. So this would be where all my crafting goes on down here. And then I need to be able to climb up here easy enough. There we go. Uh, wooden hatch. Make one of those, and then I need, let's say, fifty. Oh, ladders. About fifty. Let's open this a minute and forge ahead. Salt rifle crafting, improved sledge. I think I've got the best sledge in the game, so that's a bit useless. Oh god, I had to open the armor, didn't I? Let's scrap all this. Oh! It's worth like 500 a piece, I could sell it, but I've got bigger plans for making money, so we'll just scrap it for now. And even scrapping takes forever. Okay. If I put it that way, then I'll be able to come up and go straight in. Right. Keep those for if anyone joins. But. need to put in the wall that protects me and now I'm burning through blocks because I've just gone that tiny bit bigger leave that corner
So much food running around, rabbits and mountain lions and whatnot. a little return corner here because I can put generators and boxes and whatnot there and they're always safe so that's why we do that shut that hatch put the door on up in perfect I had a campfire on me, I'm sure I did. Or did I put it in my drone? Ready for duty. No, but we could put the forge oh no, we won't put the forge down yet. Great. So now I've left stuff in my bike. Captain organized. Right, so we want fire and the beakers is there anything else in here that I'm going to need right now the land clean and I think we're good that's where the turrets gonna go the dark gun so if we put the land clean I'm gonna put it up there because then it's not in nothing's way Camp for you there. And I think what we'll do is we'll just leave this on. So I've got a warm spot. Usually I put a burning barrel, which is something that I forgot to make. Put a burning barrel up in this corner, and then you never get code. So there we go, look. Your code, fine clothing. Uh, okay, so forgot a couple of things. I need bars for the roof. Um, Great to see you, Master. Oh, thank you. Put that door trap in and a trigger plate. So what we want to do is we put this, we've got to turn it, make sure the O's are pointing outwards, that's it. Then we want the trigger plate here, because when things run around here to try and get up, that's where they're going to set it off. We put the duration to instant power for 5 seconds when it goes off then all systems go how may i help we get the wiring tool and the darts which are in the bike because i've put everything in different places no i haven't where are the darts could have sworn a little ready for duty Took all those darts out and ah, oh, put them in that chest to free up room. <laughs> How do I get anything done? Right, so each box can hold 1500, so no point taking more. Put them in. You have to lock the ammo or it will never fire. So we've got to connect this trigger plate to that box. That's one connection done. So every time you stand on this, it triggers that. No power at the minute, so I'm not going to kill myself. Then we want to take these ladders.
we'll upgrade these later. And I think we'll be safe to go cobble from this height. And if we run out, I can just go back to the cement. Concrete. Now all we do is just go up 20 blocks high. So we're currently at 4, this is going to take a while. And I'm bound, as I always do, to put them in the wrong places. I think what I'll do is I'll come back when I'm done because this is absolutely insane so thank you.